From village to city, embracing new adventures. In a quaint and picturesque village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a loving family of five. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson were the parents of three beautiful daughters, Emily, Sophia, and Olivia. Theirs was a life filled with simple joys, fresh air, and the warmth of the close-knit community that surrounded them. The Andersons had always cherished the tranquil beauty of their village. They took long walks in the woods, picnicked by the serene lake, and spent countless evenings stargazing in their backyard. The girls, with their sparkling eyes and contagious laughter, reveled in the enchanting environment around them. Emily, the eldest, had a passion for nature. She could identify every bird that graced their garden and knew the names of all the wildflowers that adorned the meadows. Sophia, the middle child, was a talented artist who often captured the village's beauty in her colorful paintings. Olivia, the youngest, had a heart full of curiosity and was known for her wide-eyed wonder at the world. Life was idyllic, and the girls had the dearest friends among the neighboring families. They played hide-and-seek in the woods, swam in the crystal-clear river, and organized picnics that echoed with laughter. Theirs was a world untouched by the hustle and bustle of city life. One day, a significant change arrived on the horizon. Mr. Anderson received a job offer in the bustling city, a position that promised stability and opportunities. He pondered over the decision for weeks, torn between the promising city and the enchanting village where his daughters had blossomed. Finally, he gathered his family around the dinner table one evening to share the news. The girls, who had sensed something was amiss, gazed at their father with anxious eyes. Girls, Mr. Anderson began, I've been offered a job in the city, and it's an opportunity we can't pass up. It'll provide us with a more comfortable life. Emily, Sophia, and Olivia exchanged glances, their hearts heavy with concern. They cherished the village and the life they had built there. But Dad, Emily hesitated, we love it here. Our friends, the forests, the lake, we don't want to leave all of this. Mrs. Anderson placed a reassuring hand on Emily's shoulder and said, I know it's hard, dear, but the city has its own wonders. We'll have access to excellent schools, museums, and so many exciting experiences. Over the next few weeks, the Andersons prepared for the move. They packed their belongings and said heartfelt goodbyes to their friends and neighbors. The girls couldn't help but shed tears as they left behind the only world they had ever known. Arriving in the city was a stark contrast to their village life. Tall buildings stretched towards the sky, and the streets buzzed with activity. The air was filled with the hum of cars and the chatter of strangers. It felt foreign and overwhelming. The first days were difficult for the girls. They missed the open fields, the whispering woods, and the comforting familiarity of their village. Emily, Sophia, and Olivia found themselves longing for their old friends and the adventures they used to have. Seeing their daughter's unhappiness, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson decided to take them on explorations of the city. They visited museums, attended cultural events, and explored city parks. Slowly but surely, the city began to reveal its charm. One evening, as they strolled along the bustling streets, Mr. Anderson pointed to the vibrant cityscape. Do you see, girls? The city has its own kind of magic. It's filled with opportunities, diversity, and experiences you won't find anywhere else. You can learn and grow in ways you never could back in the village. Sophia, who had always appreciated beauty, began to notice the architecture and the intriguing graffiti that adorned the city walls. Olivia, with her curious spirit, found a science center where she could explore the wonders of the universe. Emily, who had missed the outdoors, discovered city parks with playgrounds and botanical gardens. Weeks turned into months, and the Andersons found their rhythm in the city. 
The girls made new friends at school and joined clubs that piqued their interests. They explored the city's cultural tapestry, trying new foods and experiencing various traditions. One sunny afternoon, as they stood on a rooftop garden overlooking the city skyline, Sophia turned to her family and said, You know, I miss our village, but I'm grateful for the chance to experience all of this. It's like a new canvas for my paintings. Olivia added, and I've learned so much in the Science Center. I never thought I'd be so fascinated by the stars. Emily smiled, feeling the warmth of her family beside her. We might have left our village, but we found a different kind of magic here in the city, the magic of growth and discovery. Their parents exchanged proud glances. Mr. Anderson nodded in agreement. Sometimes, change is difficult, but it opens doors to new adventures and experiences. Remember, home is not just a place, it's the love and togetherness we share. As they gazed at the cityscape, the Andersons realized that life was a journey filled with unexpected turns. They had learned that with an open heart and a willingness to embrace change, they could find beauty and wonder in every corner of the world. And so, the Andersons continued to weave their story in the vibrant tapestry of the city, cherishing their newfound adventures and the unwavering love that bound their family together.